hora, así que papá, por favor, recupérate y, y saludos a mi mamá y a mi hermano. Well, I don't really understand that because I'm still learning my Spanish. I'm a bit slow, but um, whatever that meant, on ya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. We'll see you next we'll time. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Edwin. That was Edwin Morales, our local legend here in uh, Mexico. Really good bodyboarder and photographer. And uh, he's really uh, one of the main names down here in Puerto Escondido. So we saw Chase O'Leary just losing his leash. Uh, it's actually snapped. So he had Tanner and the... Liam O'Toole run down and fix his leash for him. He's trying to get back out there again now, but this is um, not good for Chase. Not a good start to his heat. Just coming unstuck, trying to get out the back. There, so we got in this heat, Jacob Romero in the red, Diego Cabrera in the white, Chase O'Leary in the green, Alberto Colucci in black. And um, I'm joined here with a special guest from Australia, from my hometown, lives next door to me, Andrew Lester. <laughs> How you going, buddy? Good, Alex. Can you keep the noise down too, by the way, at home? <laughs> Bloody Sorry, noisy neighbour. <laughs> Sorry, right. Nah, stoked to be here. Stoked to be here. So, and uh, Andy, what's been going on? We saw you yesterday shred Ooh. that last 30 seconds of that We've heat. Got Jacob, birthday boy, up and riding. It's his birthday, is it? Birthday today, yeah. 45. <laughs> no, 20, uh, yeah, 23, Lester said that, not me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, 23, I think. But, um, yeah, it's his birthday today, 1st of October. Good on him. And a big shout-out to Alex Mills as well from home. It's his birthday today, big too. Big shout-out, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, not much has been happening. Just um, down here, conditions are slowly improving, so uh, it's good to get through round two. As we can see, uh, uh, Diego Cabrera, I think, was looking, yeah, looking at one, but um, decided to kick out. Just kicked out there. So, yesterday, talk us through that heat. You had 30 seconds to go. You were chasing a 7.75. Yep. Yeah, something like that, a 7, a, a high yeah. 7 or a mid 7 or something. Yeah, it's just, um, it's such a good beach. It's such a good wave out here. Like, it's such a good beachy, but, um, it's you know, it's peaky. So, it's not like you, it's not one defined peak and you just sit there and wait for them to come in. It, you know, the waves come in all over the shop. And uh, I was pretty lucky. I just kind of um, thought that... Uh, Thought that my luck had kind of run out because I got a good wave at the start, and then, um, and then yeah, with 30 seconds to go, I needed like yeah, like a high seven, and got this sick left barrel that came through and managed to get a good tube and come out with a bit of an invert, so I got the score with an eight. Got an eight right there. So yeah, it's pretty stoked for that. To go. Yeah, so super stoked about that. And um, dancing through to round three. Yeah, yeah, it's always good to skip that second round because, um, I mean, you grow up competing, you know, and it's, and it's elimination, but uh, it's always good to skip that round so you don't have to worry about um, you know trying to do this uh, round two oh, where you get you get pressure cooker out. yeah that's right oh we've seen a couple of guys go home already yeah the mexicans have they're not they don't have to go far but they've gone home in that <laughs> yeah, last yeah one. they're home for a siesta yeah it's, um, <laughs> it's hard and saw jake and uh, sam in that first one um the two of you guys get knocked out as well so it's always um it's always hard to see uh you know good riders get knocked out in this round but you know it's the world tour so good guys are gonna get knocked out and your uh your latest project the uh, freedom fins you've been working really hard designing your own fin Yep, yep. Freedom Fins has been going really good. We um we launched in Australia back in March, and I've uh, been really happy with how it went. We sold out of um a lot of the fins, so it's been a little while to get that second second batch out. But I'm um, really stoked that they're now out, and um and they're actually going to be global too. So uh, make sure you go down to your local surf shops and uh, ask for the Freedom Fins because they're going to be out there soon. <laughs> <laughs> and it took you a while. I know you worked on this for a couple of years, just trying to really improvise on getting you know the perfect fin. And uh, I, I mean, you gave me a set the other week, and I reckon they're the best fins I've ever used. Really powerful, and you worked overseas with the manufacturers and things like that, trying to really just get them right to that that supreme sort of uh, level. Yeah, I'm really stoked with um with how they turned out. It's uh it's kind of good. We've got a a, a really different um I guess rubber structure to it. It's got a bit of silicon in there as well, so it's um so it really takes away that um that rubbery feel which causes a lot of um irritation which then obviously turns into sea ulcers when you're out in the surf um so that was a really important part and um just sponsored jerry um jared houston on the world tour and uh i'm just stoked to have my own little um company that i can you know support like we're sponsoring this event like a, a you know got behind uh, this event yeah yeah, yeah it like a, that's a, good a partnering sponsor of this uh, and also with the box event earlier on in the year so that was always my goal is to um you know, I'm not expecting to be um, retiring next year off the, the profits of it, but it's good that I can, you know, be able to sponsor a few events and hopefully one day be a, 
uh, presenting sponsor like Turbo is on this event. That's good, um, yeah, putting back into the sport. That's what yeah, we need. Yeah, yeah, well, I, you know, see, it, I kind of took a leaf out of Mitch Rawlins' book with Found, with him sponsoring um, a few events, and, uh, you know, he's putting a lot back into the sport, so I just want to kind of follow his lead and, and do the same thing. That's right, I mean, look at that. And also, coming up to Christmas... Kids, yeah. put that on the Christmas list for the parents, eh? Yep, we've got four colours too. We've got, um, we've got all black, we've got yellow and black, we've got uh, red and grey, and we've got a brand new colour as well coming out as well, which is uh, black and red. Um, so, yeah, so we've got a few colours there to, um, so you can colour coordinate with your boards or wetsuits or whatever the kids do these days. But, uh, no, they're, they're pretty sick. So, yeah, go into the shops and hassle the store owners, and if they don't have them, make sure they get them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you have just tuned in, this is the uh, IBA Turbo Zika Pro. Presented by Sporting Bet, and we're up to round th round two, heat number three. Yep. In the white rashi from Canary Islands, we got Diego Cabrera. Yep. In the red rashi, we got Jacob Romero from Hawaii. It's his birthday too, by the way. <laughs> uh, in the green rashi, we got Chase O'Leary, uh, Port Macquarie, Australia. Yep. And down in uh, the black rashi, we got Alberto Colucci, the Venezuelan. Yep. Who had an interference call on him. Uh, against Magno in the yeah. first round there a couple of days ago. Right yep. off, sort of in the last minute there. And um, Yeah, Alberto's been doing really well. He uh, he came all the way through from the trials and um, he uh, he surfed really well and, you know, to get into the main event. I think he did that in the in the trials that are in Portugal too, in the last event in Sintra. So, um, you know, it's, he's no stranger to surfing against these, like the top seed guys. And uh, it's still early days in this heat, but... Um, yeah, it was a bit, bit of a tough start for Chase O'Leary. That big set in the, right at the end of that last heat came in and he ended up snapping his leash. So, um, so Mike Stewart and Tanner um, McDonald lent them his leash. And, uh, yeah, so it's not a start you want. And then Jacob Romero, his birthday. Birthday boy, he's the turbo wild card for this event. Yeah, well, let's see if he can get a birthday win, yeah, Jacob Romero. Yeah, exactly. And then, um, of course, Diego Cabrera, who had that um, terrible head injury in Chile. Um Kind of, uh, oh, it's got black. The event. Uh, Alberto pulling into a big left, but it's not going to make it through that. But I'm, um, yeah, Diego Cabrera, who, um, you know, he did that, he did a massive reverse air out at uh, El Gringo in, in Arica and, um, and hit his head on his board so hard that he knocked himself out and he, he got a, I think it was a, a brain aneurysm or something, or a, he had yeah, a lot hemorrhage. of fluid. He had hemorrhage, a hemorrhage yeah, in the yeah, brain and he's in hospital for, uh, and yeah, up to two the, weeks. Yeah, he had to stay in Chile for six or eight weeks. He wasn't allowed to fly because the pressure is we got Chase O'Leary. Bottom turning into a big right. Let's see if he can push through that roll. He's punched that roll it's through. Be hard. Nah. Oh, no. oh, oh. It looks like he's lost his leash again. Oh, Chase. Oh, as we got out the back, Diego Cabrera looks like a nice oh, one. Look oh, look at this barrel. If he can make. Oh no, he's not going to make that. Wow. How good did that look for a second there? Oh. But oh, really starting to light up here in Zicatella, Porto yeah. Escondido. It's really clean, but it's yeah. just still a little bit straight. It's not quite as peaky as it was in that first day of competition where you could really get some nice shoulders and pull in and it would really run with it. Here, it's just kind of a little bit too straight. So uh, even the ones that don't look like they're going to close out, they really hit that bank and really um, straighten up and, and close out. So it's going to be tough for the competitors, but it's interesting. It looks like Chase, it looked like his board just popped up then, so maybe he didn't get a chance to put that leash on. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Um, but it's really anyone's heat at the moment. There's no one's really um, been able to put a, a good score in yet. So as we wind down, what, 26, tw just over 26 minutes to go. Well, it's been tight heats all, da all day. The yeah. first heat, there was only three points separating first and fourth. Yep. That heat then that we just saw, Jorge winning, that was, uh, and we're, sorry, Roberto winning. Yeah, Roberto, he's so There's only really four good. points difference between first and fourth there. Yeah. Yeah, it is tough, and I guess it shows... Um, you know, with that first day of competition, some of the high scores, it really shows down to um, kind of the waves. And any rider can get the good score if they can get the wave. But with the today where the waves aren't really offering as much, it's bringing it a lot tighter. Especially with that, um, that Jake Stone heat in that first heat. You know, oh, how close was that? Yeah, there was point one, point point one. one. Yeah. He needed missing a, out. Yeah, and his last wave, he needed a 7.18 and got a 7.08. So I um, hate to be a judge because it's tough conditions out there. But yeah, it's super close. Uh, but I, I spoke to um, Terry McKenna earlier, and it looks like we're only going to stay on uh, on round two today. Not going to push through to round three, which I think is a good call. Uh, so yeah. Okay, you know what? What uh, looks pretty flat out there. There might be a little bit of a bump, but we're going to interview. We got Dan down there with uh, 
Jorge Coloma, who got second in that last heat. As we've got White paddling into this one. Diego Cabrera. Let's see if he's going to find the lip to that. Nice little... Oh, and he's got a bit of a claim off the beachy. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> got some good support from the guy in the, in the surf. It, yeah. As we've got... Um, looks like... So here we go. We've got Jacob having a look at this one. Let's see if we can get the camera. We've got a bit of a camera problem there. You know what? We'll throw it. We'll throw it, Dan. If Dan's down there, mate, we'll... Where you at, buddy? Eh, salieron las olas que necesitaban para pasar este hit. No están las mejores olas ni, la, ni condiciones ahora mismo, pero sale algo y, y nada. Eh, gracias a Dios pasé. Estoy bien feliz, mano. <laughs> me iba a eliminar y, y me iba a eliminar y pasé ahí a lo último. Gracias a Dios. <laughs> So um, you had two good waves out there. Uh, can you take us through them? Eh, sí, eh, la primera onda, la primera ola, eh, hice un, toda la ola hice un rollo las tres, pero todo el tiempo traté de mejorar cada ola y pues gracias a Dios cada ola tenía más fuerza y para tirarme y hacer la maniobra y pues pude asegurar con los rollos y gracias a Dios se me dio y pasé. Pero también le quiero dar gracias a los competidores que hicieron buen trabajo los mexicanos, eh, Chuy. Y también Roberto Bruno, que fue el que en verdad llegó a primer lugar eh, en esta batería. Right on, right on. So, um, conditions are pretty difficult out there today. Um, how is your equipment working? Eh, el equipo está funcionando súper bien. Gracias a Dios. Yo pensaba que un bad tail no me iba a funcionar porque hace tiempo que no uso un bad tail, pero eh, el primer día aquí free surfeando partí mi, mi tabla haciendo un aéreo 360 y se salió el stringer y esa era mi tabla favorita y... Esta era la otra que traje y pues nada, hasta ahora lo menos pensado y pasó. So, que seguir para adelante y estar positivo y feliz. Right on, bro. Well, all right, we're going to see Jorge Colomer in round three. Puedo darle gracias un momento a, le quiero dar gracias a Dios, a mi mamá. Esto es por mi papá que está allá arriba y por todos los amigos que me apoyan allá en Puerto Rico y en todo el mundo. Science, Cinca y Cocomo. Right on, right on. All right, back to you guys in the booth, boys. Hugh. Very, uh, very passionate, very, very passionate Jorge there. Yeah. Puerto Rican. Good on him. Those sideburns for years. I know, they're good lamb chops there, eh? Yeah. Love to throw them on the barbie. <laughs> 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 no, he's doing good. As we've got uh, Chase looking at one, but um, opts not to go for that one. Um, and I guess while that interview was going on, Jake Romero, birthday boy, um, got a nice one with a 5-8-3. So put him uh, in the lead? Put him into the lead, yeah, which is great. So uh, as we've got someone looking, no, opted not to. Um, so yeah, so there's still um, some good wave scoring potential out there. And uh, as this heat goes on, I'm sure they'll find a bit more of the rhythm and see some big scores getting dropped. As you can see, someone, someone looking at this one. Yes, is that Diego Cabrera? Diego Cabrera from the Canary Islands, punching a roll Big through the roll. top there, That's landing nice. that nicely. He's in six, uh, second position at the moment with a yep. total combined of five six one. Yep. He'll improve on that one point five three. Yeah, as we've got Jacob Romero up again. Oh, this is looking all right. Oh, I just pinched a bit. Punches a roll through That's that nice. section. Yep. Little close out there. Yep. Jacob getting busy, Diego getting busy. Yeah, birthday boys. So you can see the two guys who have, um, you know, the, the only two guys who have got any um, scores at all. Um, I mean, first there with Jacob with the, that 583. Uh, his second wave will come in at uh, probably around a four or mid fours. And again, Diego with his, his role will probably be in that maybe mid to high fours, maybe even a five. So um, still plenty of um, time for Chase and Alberto to get, to get up there. But uh, yeah, at the moment it's Jacob and uh, Diego that's, Taking a bit of a control of this heat at the moment. Diego Cabrera, the Canary Islands boy. Yep. He was supposed to. We we heard when he had that injury in uh, Chile that he wasn't going to be able to surf for 12 months. Well, that just shows how fit and determined he is. Here he goes. He's onto another one too. Oh, he's flipped out of that. Oh, oh just coming no, no. unstuck. Just tried to put his foot in to spin around a little bit too too early. And just uh, dug a rail, unfortunately. Every time I see him, too, he's just so full of energy, Diego. Oh, he is, and he's such a nice guy. He's a legend. Yeah, really good guy. Great surfer, loves to party, loves to be just full of life. He's an absolute champion. Uh, I saw it when I first saw around. him when I came here, I, I was pointing to his head, trying to ask him how his head was, but because of the language barrier, his response was, 
Yes, I coloured it. I coloured it red. <laughs> he had coloured his hair, hair red. <laughs> but I was actually asking him how his injury was, but he was yeah. telling me about the hair colour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a party boy and he's an absolute legend. Um, yeah, all the Canary guys are too. They're a great group of guys. Uh, can't wait to get over there for the last event in Fronton. Fronton, yes. Yeah. We'll be there in December. Yep, definitely. Definitely. December the 7th, I think, believe we start their fourth, uh, their, so the eighth Grand Slam. Yep. And it's coming down the wire too, this world title. Yep. You know, Winnie's got a, for Winnie to win here in Mexico, it's, he's got a, he's pretty much got to win the event. Yep. And he's got uh, Pierre and Jeff. Oh, he's got Alberto Colucci. Not to go well. So. A foamy one, but it's got up to a nice, oh, that's a pretty sick roll. That's a pretty nice roll there for Alberto. So he's, um, I guess you could say, just starting to kick off his... Um, oh, another roll. Another bread sure. roll. I don't know if that will get many points for him. Uh, I don't know if he's, why he's still coming in. Get back out there. But uh, that was a pretty good score for Alberto. So um, Yeah, getting busy in the bakery there. Yeah. A couple yep. of bread rolls. Yeah, a couple of bread rolls. <laughs> so just under 90 minutes remaining in this uh, heat three of round two. Yep. Jacob Romero, Diego Cabrera, Chase O'Leary and Albert Colucci. Yeah. And coming up in the next uh, heat, we what have Jones we Russell we from Australia, another yep. turbo rider. Yes. Edda Luciano from Brazil. Yep. Mike Stewart from Hawaii. And Michael Novi from Australia. Yeah. A couple of Aussies up against Edda. Edda, Edda just came off a win at, uh, where was that compat? Venezuela. Uh, Venezuela, that's right. Yeah. He's just come off a win there. So, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be full of confidence. And uh, Mike Stewart, you know, enough's been said about Mike. He's... um. You know, he knows how to surf a heat. And then, of course, uh, Novi, Michael Novi and um, Jones Russell are both, I guess, vying for their positions. They're, they're lifeline on the World Tour at the moment. They're in that bubble as we've got Alberto's replay coming off the bottom. It's a nice, even though it's foamy, it's a nice clean one. Hits with a ni nice big projected roll. I dare say that might have been the highest um, scoring wave of the heat so far. Just under Jacob's wave with the 5.38. So, um... So Alberto's really narrowed the gap for himself. He only needs well, what, a 4-4-1 four, four, to, uh, to go into second. So Yeah, so um, Chase really needs to dig deep here because Chase is actually currently sitting 16th on the tour. Wow. He's right he's, on the fence. Actually, I saw that, and he'd moved up four places from that last event too. So um, In Portugal. So I, in Portugal, yeah. So I think I think this would be a 20... If he gets knocked out, if he gets third, it's like a 25th. And if not, it's a 29th, so... If he gets fourth, it's a 29th. That's right. So, um, so yeah, So and Chase definitely doesn't want to be carrying a 25th or a 29th at the end of the year as one of his counting scores. So he'll really um, want to uh, to advance through this, this heat. Yeah, um, yeah, he knows the pressure's on. I mean, he's sitting in 16th at the moment. Yeah. And what does he need? He only needs an 8-2-3. We saw um, Sam Bennett. He's currently sitting in 14th, and he... Um, He's packed his bags, not not advancing through. So Sam's going to slip back down, I think, a little a few spots possibly, yep. depending on what happens. Because I know Yuri's in 15th between those two, between Sam and Chase, and now Yuri's advanced through. So he's going to jump ahead of Sam. Now yep. see what Chase can do. Yeah, like I said, Chase, he's only got a, a 1.5 and a 0 0.5, so he's you know he hasn't really he hasn't had a score yet. Uh, and with a combined, he only needs an 8.23. Um, as we see, uh, Paddle battle Chase there. paddling into this one. Oh, that's a nice roll. That's better than a 1.5 right there. If you can link up another move. Come on, Chase. Yeah, get another no, one in certainly there. can. He's going to do it. Oh, good boy. So that's going to be a, a really good there. scoring. You could even get another one in here. As we've got, oh, Jacob out the back on a nice looking wave. Tucks in. Oh, Jacob Romero in a pit. He's going to come out. out, out and he oh, oh, Jacob Romero just came <sighs> unstuck there. Coming unstuck there. That would have been a high scoring way for Jacob. That would have Hasn't been, really been many pits today. Ah, spewing. Bad luck, birthday boy. Chase O'Leary doing what he does at B Wall every day. Double roll on a right hander. Yeah, yeah, getting busy as you see the riders in the next heat. The two Aussie guys. They're friends now on the on the beach, but I guess uh, <laughs> once they hit the water it'll be um, you know, no mates after that. Uh nah. But, uh, but yeah, Chase, so he got a, um, a pretty nice scoring ride there. So this heat is a really close one and um, you know, each person has their own little um, I mean, everyone wants to make it through the heat, but each person has a little reason why they want to get through it, and Chase is definitely one, um, looking at the bigger picture and the grand scheme of things with the World um, Tour coming, uh, I guess, coming down to an end, you know, with only a couple more events to go after this, two more events. That's right. I mean, he's sitting on the fence. Yeah. Currently sitting there at 16th. He's right gonna on really the cusp. Wanna, he's really going to want to get a, um, a good score here, or a good result at least. 
So we see it's still rippy conditions out there. Yeah. Not that favourable today, but uh, like I said, we had to run. We had to get round two out of the way here because we want to finish on Thursday in uh, optimal conditions. Yeah, and I mean, it isn't, it isn't the best we've seen, but it's still really good. Still really good, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd love to be out there. Yeah, exactly. Like, we've only got one more heat after this, and I am definitely going to head out for a surf. I'll be joining you. <laughs> Actually, I can't straight yet. I've got to uh, do another heat after this one. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get through the heat four, and then... Uh, and then we'll, we'll get out there. Um, see, Chase has, so Chase has actually got the, the highest scoring ride there with a 5.88. So uh, he only needs now a three to get into to second. Alberto uh, only needs a 4.41. As we've got uh, Diego Cabrero bottom turning into a nice heavy roll. That's going to be hard to make. Hope he can. Tough, tough to make those ones, but with that explosion coming up so hard. No, he hasn't made that. Hasn't made that one. Got exploded on that landing. Yeah. Oh, Al got a, who's this? Alberto. Alberto Colucci. Oh, wow. Is this going to run? Oh. oh, just getting lipped there. Yeah, just got caught a little bit. Alberto so, Colucci. It's, it's kind of a, it's a weird bank out here, Alex. Like, it probably breaks about, I don't know, maybe 75 metres off the beach. And it's just really flat. It's really flat the whole way along. So, um... It doesn't lose any power when it comes in, so you could be, you know, the wave might break 20 metres in front of you, but it really doesn't lose much energy. Uh, so off that initial impact, it hits really hard on a shallow sandbank, and that explosion makes it so difficult to land the moves. And you can see, like, see, this is some of the best guys in the world, and they're getting bumped off on um, the landings. Yeah, that's right. So it's really important to get out early and get in front of that explosion. Yeah, you've got to sort of project out. I mean, yeah. it's good if you get, get the height, but yep. getting the height... Makes your landing harder because you sort of land right in the V. Yeah, that's and right. there's so much water moving behind it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really difficult. That's one thing I've noticed actually with, with Jeff Hubbard. Even though he like goes higher than anyone else, he actually goes out in front of it a lot too. And um, and he really clears that, that lip. So once you clear that first explosion, you know, that's that's the first, um, I guess, problem solved. But then, like I said, it doesn't lose a lot of power. So you really got to hang on after that second explosion too to, um, to confirm that you did make that, that wave, that score. That's right. So, so if you just tuned in around the world, we thank everyone for tuning in. This is the uh, IBA yeah, Turbo yeah. Zikatella Pro presented yeah, uh, by Sporting yeah, no, Bet. Not much has been um, just, um, also, Sporting Bet is our new uh, online so, uh, um, good to get betting agency, two, so you can, can bet on your favourite bodyboarders. Uh, yeah. Bet on you, Andrew Lester. You can bet him on to win the event. Yep. Make the top four. Beautiful. And there's a head-to-head -head coming out, I think, with you and Pierre, maybe, I think, tomorrow yeah, or the uh, next day. I don't know who came up with that. That's ridiculous. Put me against Pierre. <coughs> He's got no uh, chance. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, confidence we need. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. going to get you to win. No, how did I draw the current world champion? Uh. I mean, come on. And s currently coming second as well. <laughs> That's Jeez. right. Give an old, bro give an old bloke a break. You can bet if you're in Australia, yeah, New Zealand, or Chase Brazil, or Spain. Uh, oh, got a big on one coming in here. I wonder if anyone's going to get it. We've got a paddle. Oh, it's birthday boy. We must have wished for this one. Is it going to make it though? It's going to get round it. Going to get round it. Nah, nah it's just fizzed out on yeah, the bank. We got some solid sets coming through here. Yeah, it's still some big ones coming through, isn't there? Yeah. See, uh, the rider in red there. Look at that. Ugh. You can see that explosion that we're talking about, and see how it doesn't lose a lot of power. Like it still bounces in, and it's really hard to make it sometimes. Okay, so we just got this last one coming through now. We'll see if we get a takers. I don't think we're going to have any takers. So you know what? After this, uh, probably won't be another set for a while. We'll throw it on out and uh, we're back soon. There we have it, inverted bodyboard shop. Uh, one of the bodyboard shops oh, here right Chase. behind the event. A nice roll. It's going to go, it's going a bit foamy. It's just going to have to link it through, I guess. A little spin. Another roll. If you can make this roll, this will be, oh, he hasn't made it. Well, that'll still be a, a better score than his, um, that he's 1.5. So, and I dare say that's going to be better than a three. So uh, Chase is going to go into second, I would um, say, as we can uh, go on a, Sporting bet replay comes off the bottom, 
finds a nice roll. It was a good roll, but then it just kind of goes a bit foamy here and just kind of has to milk it a little bit. And uh, then it's a bit foamy. It's a bit rubbish. I like Chase's so, uh, style. He's, he's got real stylish rolls, Chase. Yeah, yeah, he's a really good rider. Um, coming through from, uh, from Port Macquarie, there's, you know, a hot better talent up there in, uh, in the mid... mid uh, I guess, what, mid-north coast would it be? Mid-north coast of New South Wales? Mid-north coast, yeah. Mid-north coast of New South Wales in Australia. Um, yeah, we had a few of the boys, like Jones, who's in this next heat. Jones, Sam yep. Bennett before. We saw Charlie Holt in the uh, trials, just not yeah. getting through. And even in you know in past years with Damien King and, uh, and Simon Thornton, Mason Rose, Todd DeGraff. Damien King, yeah, a bloke that we're probably going to see on the tour next year. <laughs> How good he has that? just done another podcast, Damien King, so check that out too, kids, if you're... Uh, yep. You're on the, the internet, before. have a look. You, obviously, you're on the internet because you're watching this. But, yeah, he's got a <laughs> podcast out. Yeah, the, another the one. The Joker 4. Yep. Um, people think he's a funny... I don't think he's a funny bloke, but a lot of people do. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, he's... Um, there we see and also, Chase O'Leary in the lead now. Yeah, Chase has gone in with a 4.43. Good on him. So, um, so yeah, so Chase is in first with a, with a 5.88 and a 4.43. Jacob in second with a 5.83 and a 4.25. And uh, Diego Cabrera only needs a 4.39 to jump into second. So um, it's going to be you know, difficult for, uh, for, jo for Jacob to keep him off a wave with the scoring um, to get a score that easily. And then Alberto Colucci only has his second scoring right of a 1.53. So he only needs a 4.71. So this, this heat is really open for anyone. That's right. I mean, yeah, but once he gets another wave, he's going to move straight back up to it. It's so tight. We've seen... First to third, yep. there's not even one point difference. There's 10.31 yep. down to 9.78. Yeah, it's We've crazy. seen it so tight too. The heat before and uh, heat one. He's got Alberto's looking to paddle for one, but missed that. That was a bit foamy. Eight minutes remaining. If you are online, check out the IBA World Tour site. Check out the shop online. We've got three packs available to support this event. And uh, we'll just have a look. Jacob Romero here. Oh, Talk Jacob. us through this, Andy. Jacob's coming off the bottom. He's got a nice... Oh, that was... Whoa, Whoa. That was sick. That was really good. He's still going too. He hasn't finished yet. Oh, that's by far the best way of the heat. Jacob's really... Jacob Romero. He's huh? really stepped up on that one. Having um, a combination chow men soup there. Yeah. All his birthday wishes came in at one. Wow. <laughs> combination chow men soup, was it, Alex? Yeah, yeah. All in one. <laughs> All in one. Wow, that was really good. He did that so cleanly too, coming out of that flip into another. Oh, let's see this. Let's have a look at the sporting bet replay here. You look see him, him eyes out off straight away. Good bottom turn. Gets around that section. Punches on that lip there. Sort of hard to do under those lips. And then lands Bang. momentum. Bang. Straight into a forward spin. He's going to get rewarded for that, Jacob. Yeah, Finishes with a roll. What I really liked about that with Jacob was just a nice drawn out bottom turn out wide. There wasn't any... any change in um, line or anything. It's just like coming off the bottom, straight up, bang, straight into the lip um, for that flip. And the judges really like that too. When you just draw a point from point A to point B, from takeoff to where you hit the section, just one clean line. Um, as you can see, they've rewarded with a 7-1-3. So that's um, that's a really justified score. And, uh, and, and Jacob's and, and really... And like you're saying, um, sort of at point A, a to B there, we're drawing that one line. It's hard in these conditions when it it's is. bumpy. Yep. It's rippy. Yep. We saw Amori in his heat sort of um, coming unstuck too, hitting the bumps and all that, yeah. but he managed to sneak through. He got second in his one, but same sort of thing. We, the bump, we saw Jake Stone in his one. It was really bumpy in that first heat. Yeah, yeah, exactly it is. It's really bumpy out there, and um, yeah, I guess, that, again, that's where the judges see. They've got a clear view, um, and they're obviously looking out to the out to the ocean, and uh, yeah, the judges up there are doing a really good job, and, um, and they rewarded Jacob uh, accordingly with that smooth... Um, smooth line drawing as we can see him getting cleaned up by the sets now. That's, he, that's right. When we got some good judges on board too. We yeah. got Pat Corwell, which is an he's an absolute bodyboarding legend. Inventor of the El Rollo. Rollo. Yep. Uh, we have Simon Thornton, um, a big Tahitian. Wave, big wave charger. Big wave bodyboarder who, you know, these guys the who are judging Jacob. this event <laughs> actually are good bodyboarders, know what they're looking at. And, you know, it's it's great for bodyboard. It's great for the World Tour. Yeah, and Dudu Pedro as well from uh, Brazil. Brazil, Another Dudu, big wave charger. Yeah. Yep. As a competitor, it's really good to have guys like that on the judging panel who have been there and done it themselves so they can really appreciate what you're actually doing and, um, uh, you know, and can see, like, you know, there might be just slight little things that they um, that they can really appreciate and, um, you know, and it gives the riders a lot more uh, 
trust and um, and everything like that in the judges. That's right. And uh, we've got our head judge, Chico, from Brazil too, yeah, who's very he's experienced. Brilliant. He's been around for years. Yep. Great judge. So, yeah, we've got a great judging panel and it's, um, yeah. We've, on the tour, we're very lucky as riders to have a panel like that. So, like I said, jumping back to the IBA World Tour shop. Yep. There's packs available to support this event. We've got a $60 pack, which gives you $120 in value. We've got a... $80 pack, it gives you $200 in value. And we've got a $100 pack that gives you $300 in value. With that $100 pack, you get $150 off any Reflex wetsuit. Plus wow. 30% off uh, inverted bodyboard stores. That's great. That's really plus good. Plus you get a shirt, turbo boardies, a Reflex hat. Oh, for all that for $100? Yeah, all that for $100. Wow, that's, that's great. Spend $100, value. you straight away get $150 off a Reflex wetsuit. Wow. Well, that's... That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, really I good. mean, I've done the math and it'd be <laughs> stupid not to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know if it's on the screen, but I just had a quick look out to see and see Jacob Romero. He's he's still not even close to getting out the back. <laughs> he's uh, still got six foot slips coming through. Yep. Yeah, he's in a, all sorts of trouble. There he is still. And you can see that where that wave's about to, you know, he's not really that far off the, <laughs> off the shoreline. So as I was saying before, with the, the power of the wave here, like because it, it just hits a flat, shallow sandbank from pretty much where the wave crashes and breaks all the way into the shorey, like literally onto the beach, it's just one flat, um, flat, sand, there's no, flat there's sandbank. There's no gutters. There's no gutters, so the, the, the wave doesn't lose any energy or power at all. It just keeps rolling and bouncing in. Like if you took all the water out, it'd just be like a big, long, flat sand. You could just run up. Sandbar, and run. Yeah. yeah. sandbar. So, um, you know, you can, as you can see, like these waves just keep rolling in and Jacob is just... And it's condensed sand. Back. It's hard. It's like concrete. Yeah, it's hard sand. Yeah. One of the heaviest beach breaks I've surfed for sure. Yeah. As you can see, it looks like uh, I am cheating a little bit, folks, going off the um, we, yeah. out, out, to, out to sea. But uh, it looks like Jacob Romero has just thought, you know what, stuff it. <laughs> I'm coming in. He's in the lead. He's yeah. on 12.96. Three minutes to go. As you can see. So Chase O'Leary is now needing a 7.09 to go into first. I don't know if he's going to get that. I mean, he could, but he'd be more worried about what Diego Cabrera and Alberto Colucci are doing because they That's only right, need fours. Yeah, they're right on his tail. I don't know what the um, priority is at the, the moment. Priority is, but Chase hasn't caught away for a while. As you can see, the birthday boy, look, looking good for forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, I'm sure yep. all the Hawaiians are uh, watching, probably tuning in and supporting their uh, supporting their man. Yep. And we've got uh, yeah, Mike Stewart coming up in the next heat. Yeah, so stay so tuned for that. Supporting Hawaii. And then uh, we got, obviously, Jeff Hubbard and Dave Hubbard advancing through in round three. Mm. Yeah, they've got a good representation, the Hawaiians, on tour. Uh, and um, as you can see there, Diego only needs a 4.62, as you can see on the screen. So Alberto Colucci with a 4.94. So Chase is really, I think, tactically, he will be trying to block those guys as best he can, but it's going to be difficult to do. Um, especially when you've got trying to block two guys. Yeah. Blocking one guy, it, you can do it. I mean, it's more manageable. But when you're trying to stop two guys from getting scores as low as mid fours, Chase has got to really pray that the ocean goes flat. Yeah. So, Diego actually has priority. Diego does. Right. Diego's got priority here. Okay. He's got a minute and a half remaining. Minute and a half. So he it's coming right down to the wire here. Everyone's fighting for that second position. It seems like these past few heats too, Alex. Um, it's been coming down to the to the wire. I know in that last one with Jake, uh, in the first heat, sorry, with um, with Jake, it came down to the little, pretty much the last wave. And then uh, in that last heat, um, it was pretty tight as well. So yeah. Um, you know, there's not much separating the guys, and I know obviously from my experience in my first round heat, it came down to the last couple of or well, 30 seconds or whatever. So. Um, it's always nice to have a little bit of a, a climatic end to a heat. Well, Jacob sits paci patiently waiting on the beach, yeah. hope, hoping these guys don't get <laughs> yeah. to catch anything. Yeah. I wonder what he wished for last night or today for his birthday. I bet, I bet at first he was probably wishing that he um, got good waves. And then he was, oh, we've got Alberto Colucci coming up. He only needs a mid four. Oh, what's he going to do here? Oh, oh, he's made it. I wonder if that's an interference, though, because Diego had priority. Oh. Diego's gone for a roll. Oh. He only needed a 4.62. 4.62. This is going to be really interesting as we see at the back. Chase reversing. Chase going for something here. Punches oh, a, a roll nice through that section. I didn't see if okay. he 
anything out the Now, back. this is tight because Diego dropped in on Alberto Colucci, but Diego had priority in that. Yep. So, so Alberto, he had, um, I guess, he's in fourth position. He just had to go anyway. Yeah. But I wonder if he completed the ARS before Diego took off. 